Libra, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of July 2023. And I'll do the reading for you and I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see Libra. Bam. <clears throat> The overall energy for the reading, happiness. Great. Ten of Cups. Um, okay. We're doing this. We'll see where it goes, because I'm I'm not I'm just gonna We'll keep it short and simple for the first round because I feel like things are gonna go a little deeper in the second. Anyways, uh, starting off the reading, you get the Two of Cups crossed by the Emperor. Somebody wants love here. And I kind of get the sense that it's, you know, it's it's definitely a, a situation where you're involved with someone else to some extent. Um, and I feel like this is the other energy uh, speaking more than yours at this time. But definitely a whole lot of, I want this. This is my intention. I hope it happens and things like that in your focus here commitment so again you have it in mind too it's not one-sided for sure um <clears throat> so there's definitely the desire to bring something together possibly even take it to the next level so uh, that's the intention uh in the recent past the uh, the hermit there's been a lot of healing here a lot of you working on yourself them working on themselves and possibly that kind of healed this connection too or brought it together in a more, more beautiful way in the strength card in the strength position here the the lovers definitely a a good connection now this is where things start to get a little wonky a little like what just happened um in the immediate future a little bit of heaviness is showing up with the ten of wands here uh supporting this reading the six of swords um Either things are sailing towards better direction, a better direction, or mm. I don't know what's going on here. In all honesty, because the reading just flipped like like a hundred eighty on me. Like what 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 the hell just happened? Um, so I'm kind of caught off guard here. The energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it the the manifestation part where uh the intention on your part on their part is definitely for things to be good for things to work out i don't know what comes through as an energy that kind of shakes this uh situation a, a little bit seemingly apart so i'm not sure what's going on and what's what what this energy is about um that's why we'll go more into detail in the second round um in your hopes and fears, the Five of Cups. Maybe it's a matter of the past. Maybe it's something that wasn't healed, you know, because we can't heal everything at once. So something from the past, because you're showing me, you're pointing me towards the past here where something has been damaged. Um, <clears throat> and maybe that situation wants to come back to repeat itself. Who knows? And for the potential outcome, the Four of Cups. Uh, disappointment. So... Let's clarify. Let's see what the hell is going on here. Let me do the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> the Three of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Eight of Cups. Yeah. Um, pain has been caused at some point through this connection. Um, so it's... It's shown up as wanting to heal, but it's not healed yet. So there's going to be some other stuff coming up besides the intention, which is that of love and of things working out. So for now, I kind of see the intention in the background and then kind of what's playing out um, in front, in the on, on the front field there. But um, somebody has been hurt here and they, they have a hard time letting it go. And I kind of feel like it's them, but it could be you as well but it's pointing more towards them you know it's, you did something at some point and they may be like you know i'm working on it 
I forgive you or I forgave you. And no, that energy is still here. It's still definitely here. Where somebody's having a really hard time getting past something that may have happened. Let's do the Two of Cups. The Four of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. Uh, it, there's... That's the redundant part because there is healing actively um, here. So yes, there are going to be some things showing up that are not healed yet um, because, you know, they haven't been through the um, through that cycle of healing that's at play now. But <sighs> the intention in the background, happiness, emotional fulfillment, quite the stubbornness to get there too. This situation hasn't been resolved, though. Whatever um, was done that hurt someone that they can't get over yet. Let's do the Emperor. <clears throat> the Queen of Wands, the Death card, the Hierophant. Mm, it's really one of those readings, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of those that I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around because it's it sometimes it shows up so like mixed in with everything that I can't figure out what's actually happening. And I, I know sometimes it's not my job to figure that one out, but um it's hard to tell apart where the energetic field ends and when the physical aspect ends. Sometimes they blend in so well that it's like what the like what what, what? so this is one of those times where I can see how someone feels and what their intention is, but what's happening at a physical level is shown up quite different, quite at the opposite end of that, um, where it's kind of like a little bit of a sharp energy, a little bit of a cutting energy, like, no, I don't want to see you. I don't want to talk to you ever again. Blah, blah, blah. And then behind all that is like, but I love you so much and you're everything to me, you know, kind of a thing. So it's kind of showing up like that. And a lot of it seems to be pushed towards the energy you're dealing with, but it could be your energy as well. Um, <clears throat> let's do the Four of Wands in your focus. The Eight of Swords, the Fool, the King of Swords. Yeah, you definitely want to hang on to this commitment, make it work and all of that. There's a whole lot of confusion on how to keep it together and how to make it work. Uh, but you have the determination and you have the drive to at least try to do all that. And I feel like that's where your focus is. You know, like, okay, you know what? I can at least try. Um, or think about ways of trying. Let's do the Hermit in the recent past. The Two of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Moon. This healing has been just sitting there waiting to be grabbed for a very long time. It... It almost feels like you're looking at this connection. You're looking at where you're at with things within this connection. And you're like, yeah, we need some healing here. We need some healing. Okay, well, let's let's wait for it. It's going to happen. You know, so kind of hoping that someday somebody's going to pick up, you know, the, the little gift bag there that says healing uh, for this connection. Um, so this, it's been a long time coming. But I feel like healing has started. It's just not showing up yet. You know, uh, the results of it are not visible yet. So it feels like everything is the same. Like nothing's changing for now. For the lovers, you get the two of pentacles, the king of cups, the judgment card. Yeah. And you kind of feel about the situation like I feel about this reading. Where it's like, yes, there's love, yes, there's this, that, and the other, but what do I do with it? You know, like, there's not much I can do with it. But there's healing from it, you know, through it and from it, um, which you can do, and which I feel like you are doing. And again, I feel like they are doing it too, it's just not coming through yet to the surface. Um, and there's still a lot more to heal. So even if it were to show up, it wouldn't show up healed healed yet so kind of pointing out to the fact that as much as you know i have love for the situation not much i can do about it by myself 
Um, for the Ten of Wands in the immediate future, you get the Ace of Swords, the Lovers, the Five of Wands. This is one of those critical times of, fuck it, I'll do something about it, even if it turns out not great, because I feel like I need to do something about it. So you're coming in with a really strong desire to take action towards the situation. And you are keeping in mind that whole, you know, um, discouraging question of what's the worst that could happen. Um, so it's quite the difficult task here for you because I feel like this need is very strong of acting uh, upon something here. And it might, you know, cause a little friction here. It might cause a little trouble. But I see you willing to take that risk in terms of when the desire gets so big for you to do something, no matter what, I, I kind of see you doing it, you know? Um, as hard as it's going to be. But again, that's really up to you. And you have to reach that peak point. You have your own. So, because it's definitely something that you want to do. It comes from a place of, I have to do this for me. You know, even if it breaks everything completely. or So kind of taking into consideration worst case scenarios as well. Uh, for the Six of Swords and the Supportive Energies, you get the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> and then, you know, to answer that question, what's the worst that could happen? Eh, I'll just go about my day, you know, by myself in that whole scenario of here I go again, by, here I go again on my own. Um, <clears throat> it's not looking bad. It's not looking bad. It's kind of like, well, at least I'm free. I don't have to deal with the tension of this, with the what if, with the, mm, you know. So you're actually kind of releasing yourself here from a lot of energy that you're carrying for nothing. You know, if if you have the desire to do something, to say something, to whatever, but it's coming from a place of I need to do it for myself, by all means, doesn't freaking matter what happens because... You're also giving me the reverse of when that happens, it's like you're releasing yourself from that whole bubble of, ooh, what if, but what if I do that? But what if I say that? And what if that's going to happen? And what if, and instead of just doing that to yourself, you're kind of like, you know, well, I said it or I did it. It is what it is. At least I let it out, you know, kind of a thing. So the alternative doesn't look that bad, you know, of what's the worst that could happen. You got you, basically. And also, there's a lot of support system around you, you know, so. Um, for the Magician and the Hidden Energy, you get the Five of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. There's something you're after. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is a particular connection that leans more towards the romantic aspect or if it's something else. But there's something you're after, there's something you want, there's something you're actually possibly actively putting energy in, uh, something you're believing, you're manifesting with the universe. I don't know if that's truly what you need, you know, for yourself. It's one thing to want something and to jump into things because we think we want certain things, but it sometimes it's not for our higher self so i feel like this is one of those times where it's not for your highest good um or it's like it's looking that way it's definitely wearing the mask of this is good this is what you want i don't know i don't know if it is because it, it almost feels like maybe you did want this at some point and maybe it was good for you at some point but something is shifting in this energy where it's kind of leading you in a different direction and you're like Oh, but I kind of want to hang on to this because I think this is what I actually want. And it's like the universe is kind of trying to divert you to be like, go go a little to the left, though. You know, go a little to the left and see what happens. And you're like, eh, I don't want to. I'm going to stay here because it's cozy. I know what this is about, you know. So keep an open mind. Whatever it is that you think you want most at this time, possibly especially tied up to your own sense of stability you could be redirect, redirected a little bit by the universe if you allow that pointer go left go right go you know because there seems to be some resistance there in allowing the universe to guide you here 
Let's do the Five of Cups in your hopes and fears. The Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Sun. Some, some damage has been done to the situation here at some point in the past that kind of took away from the happiness of all of this, from feeling the happiness of all of this, the love, the happiness, the good times. Um, and it happened, it happened. There's no way to change it. The thing is, somebody's really, really, really struggling to let that go. And as long as that energy is there, it's going to block happiness. It's like, go away, and now we can feel happy. But as long as it's here, happiness is beyond that, you can't even see it. So, I don't know who this one is at this point, you know. Again, I'm feeling more towards whoever you're dealing with, but it could even be you, you know. Felix, let's not break the printer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. He's obsessed with jumping on the printer. And he's not a tiny kitten. Pretty big one. For the Four of Cups and the potential outcome, you get the Magician, the Queen of Swords, the Strength card. looking back or looking deeper into your manifestation what you think you want and not only for something in particular i feel like oh hummingbird she was so cute um i feel like um whatever is here in the hidden energy kind of points out to something you're dealing with at the moment, you know, it's an ongoing kind of an energy where uh, you think you want something and then the universe is trying to point you out towards someplace else. But that's a more general aspect of the things you think you want or the people you think you want or whatever you think you want. Make sure it aligns with also something that's good for you, something that works for you. Not only, oh, I want that. Oh, I know it's going to harm me, but I still want it. Looks pretty, you know. Um, <clears throat> and over there in that energy, you're giving me the sense of looking at your own manifestations with a sense of disappointment, a sense of regret, a sense of shit. Why didn't I see these things? This right here that's happening currently, it's in the hidden energy. It's something that is very subtle. It's very hard to pick up on, you know, as you go on your, in your day to day life. Um, <clears throat> But given that there's deception in this one, I kind of see you seeing the signs from the universe, but choosing to to not take them into consideration, you know? So be, pay, not be careful, pay more attention to your own manifestations, you know, to this one that's happening actively and even to this connection here, you know? What you think you want, what you think you need. Keyword being think. That's where we get ourselves into trouble. Speaking of that, uh, from the universe, you get the King of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. Something you're currently putting energy into and you're convinced that that's something you need to be doing. Showed up twice. Once in the hidden energy, once from the universe. And it could even be tied up to this connection. Doesn't have to be work or, you know, given that a lot of energy surrounding this connection showed up in this reading, could somehow kind of point to that. But uh, the universe kind of confirmed here. Something you are convinced that you're very clear, that it's something you want, that it's something you need to do for yourself and um, make sure it is. Make sure it's good for you. Make sure it's healthy for you. And make sure it aligns with your, your highest good. You know, because again, sometimes we want some things, but you realize years after that, what the, what, what was I thinking? You know, so it could be one of those things where that's the point, thinking too much of that is going to be in the way. So open up your heart a little more to connect with your manifestations and where you give your energy and see if that resonates with your heart too. Because you're coming from the mind on this one only. So um, <clears throat> let's do the Oracle of the Fairies. What's up? 
Everybody wants the higher spot. Well, Kai is there. What are you going to do about it? Believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern lights say, says you are a part of nature. So you are magical too. But that's it. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.